You may have to speak a little bit louder. No, no, no. So the people in the back can hear. Be clear, yeah. Welcome back, guys. Uh, better day today. It's not raining out. But uh, we welcome you. And I'm wearing a mask because I have cold. And I don't want you to get it. Everybody's got colds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I did go get tested and it's negative, so that's good. Um, so this is Sue Morris. And I met, I talked to Sue on the phone and she said, oh, well, <laughs> yes, I grew up in West Webster. And uh, she said, my mother also. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Webster, Webster, but she's 92, oh, and she might not go, depends on how she feels. She may not come, but she might. <laughs> I right. said, just like Queen Elizabeth, they, <laughs> they got all these things planned for her, and they said, well, when she gets up in the morning, if she... That's right. <laughs> so we're lucky today. She felt like coming, and that's great. So we'll have some history from her and from uh, Sue about their life in West Webster, growing up in West Webster. And, uh, and you're welcome, of course, to ask questions. And Rick, oh wait, I'm Jan Naokas from the Webster Museum. And so Rick over here is taping the talk today oh. for us. So um, Rick Walters has been very helpful in doing that for us. So that's good. We'll have your history recorded. <laughs> so, and you might have to speak up. For, if you can't hear back there, tell them to speak up. Okay? Or we can move closer. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, wait, here comes somebody. And this, uh, hello. Hi. We've been doing this. You can sit there. Okay. It's fine. We've been doing this for a few years because this is Preservation Month. And Preservation Month, it's National Preservation Month, so we do it around the architecture in Webster, and we also do it uh, here uh, with oral history. So in other words, you tell your story, and it becomes part of the history. And um, so it works out. Okay, go ahead, Sue. <laughs> okay, I was born in 1953 in West Webster. Well, I was born in the city, but lived in West Webster all my life until I got married. Um, we lived off of DeWitt Road. Um, my mom lived on Old Ridge Road. She moved there when you were, what, 14? No. Yeah, 14. And my dad lived on the Four Corners, right next to Schlegel's Meat Market. Mm -hmm. um, they had a little variety store and a gas station. Hardware. And hardware. And it was called Tong's Hardware. So. We used to spend a lot of Saturdays up there, hanging out with my dad after he took over the store. Um, we used to go ice skating at the firehouse. Did your grandfather build the, the store there? Did I don't you know? know if he built it. No. Okay. But we used to go rearrange the candy and <laughs> put it in the cash register and things like that. So was that at the gas station, where the gas station mm -hmm. was, in that building? It yes. Had two um, Two pump, pumpers. Yeah, pump your gas. Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, I have a picture of my dad when he was in the Navy, standing in front of the, the gas pumps. Cool. Oh, nice. And uh, my grandpa Tong, he helped start the fire department, and her uncle Clarence Pusher was one of the founding members of the fire department. Um, went to all the West Webster schools. Started out in Bay Road when that opened. Then we went to West Webster. And then when DeWitt Road School was being built, I went to the little four-room schoolhouse behind West Webster. And then we moved to DeWitt Road School. Graduated from R.L. Thomas in 71. My, my sister graduated in 69. Or six, 68 or 69, I can't remember now. But. That's where we grew up. I didn't mention Spry. I didn't go there. You didn't go to Spry. You were at Thomas all the time. I well, for junior high, right. they didn't have room. I did go to Spry yeah, we did for go one to year. Okay. Yeah, for one year, 
Um, they didn't have room for us at the junior high for my seventh grade. I went to Clem Road. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And then one time you went to that little schoolhouse that sits. Yep, that, that was for the beginning house? of fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have room for them. <laughs> they never had room for us. Um, I finished 9th through 12th at Thomas because they didn't have room for us at the junior high. So, it's so Betty, when you um, moved here in Webster, uh, West Webster, did you, what schools did you go to? I went to the little white schoolhouse, four-room schoolhouse that had four teachers for eight grades <laughs> and you had two grades in each room and uh, it was fun because everybody knew everybody else. Yeah. And uh, Who was your teacher? Do you remember? <laughs> I know. One was Mrs. Shaw. Okay. And Mr. Shaw was the principal according to my mother. Oh, Mrs. Yeah? Dewey was there and who was the lady that was here last week? Who was the old lady, the teacher, who was here last oh, Pat um, Mill. Pat Mill. Um, no, 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 it's was talking. Todd. Todd. Mrs. Todd was also yeah. a teacher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, where was that school then? It's a little, it's down a lane on, off of Ridge Road. And, oh. Um, oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. It's way back in, and yeah. I think they use it for storage now. Yeah. Or, no, I don't well, know. it's gone now. Is it gone now? Yeah. Uh, that was a fun place, really. Because we knew everybody. <laughs> you knew everybody in West Webster at my age, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have school buses back then? No. We walked. You walked. And so? I lived on Maple Drive, halfway down Maple Drive, and we walked. Morning, rain, snow, anything. We walked to school through snow like banks. And so you kept telling your your daughter that story. <laughs> we walked. <Yeah. laughs> we walked. Don't don't yes. <laughs> My daughter walked because so they didn't bring buses into our neighborhood when we oh moved yeah, into right. our track. She had to walk to Thomas. Oh, and there's no sidewalks. So, you know, you always worried about them walking through the snow. And, so where the Methodist Church is now, the new one. What was there? Where the Methodist Church is now? Yeah, yeah, right on Old Ridge. As far as I remember, it was always the Methodist Church. That That's same, where I got married. The same building? No. Yeah, no. well, they built on and... Okay. Yeah, the uh, Old Church was demolished in 1967. Valerie brought us pictures, okay. Sharon. Oh, okay. And history of West and the new church was built on the Methodist Church. Okay, and then they built this, this one yeah. in the 60s? Yes. Okay, thanks. Yeah. It was a grocery store? No. I don't remember that. No. Is that the New Life Methodist Church? Yes. And it's been sold. Some people mentioned how they like going down the hill at the Methodist Church. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the parking lot? Yeah. 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 Riding down, sliding yeah. down, whatever. <laughs> and then they on the way to sites, they liked the wrought iron fence along the cemetery. They said it was fun to do that. <laughs> <laughs> they took that fence down. I know. <laughs> why? Did you, do you know why? No. I, you know, my I, brother lives right across from St. Rita's. Uh -huh. and, uh, he's, yeah, mm -hmm. and he said that all of a sudden it was just gone. I don't know if maybe it was falling down. Rumor so. has it that they sold it for scrap. Oh, oh my goodness. I guess, I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 nice scrap. I would have liked that. Yeah. It was really a nice fence. <laughs> my, my son has a little patio and is right up by his garage driveway of the railroad the, where they had the trolley. Oh, oh really? Oh. Yeah, there's a little, it's about that long. Oh, what is it? it? The trolley tracks. The trolley tracks. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's where my mother and father met on the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Did what? you ever ride the trolley? No. No. It, it was before, going. It was before you had. Yeah. So where, where, where is the location of where the trolley tracks are now? Uh, 479 Ridge Road. Okay. <laughs> We, there's a tr uh, trolley house, right? 
Sharon, on Bay Road that we would love to get moved. And the oh. owners of the house have said that we could move it. So now we're in the process of trying to find a place for it oh. and, and how much it'll cost to move it to. So. Is it a historic home? It's a, no, I don't think that place is a historic home, is it? No, no, but we somehow think they ended up, we don't think the trolley, it's a ticket booth. Oh, okay. And we don't think it was where it is in the first place. But somebody probably said, hey, we need to save this and put it in the house's backyard. I know it used to go down below the Bay Hills because my mother lived up about 100 stairs up from the Bay. <laughs> and the, the trolley would stop and blow its little horn for my father so he could run down those stairs <laughs> and go home. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Is <laughs> huh. Other than that, I mean, I went to school here. We used to come up to the Four Corners, and go ice skating in the winter at the firehouse. Yeah, that was fun. I did school. Yeah, so what events did they have at the firehouse, do you? Pardon? What events did they have at the firehouse? Did yeah. they? Yeah. Oh, they had all kinds of... <laughs> <laughs> Turkey yeah. raffle, a minstrel show. Not, oh, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That run over, they were going to have it like two weekends, and I think they ended up four weekends because oh. people kept coming back. It was so funny. It was <laughs> fun. And what they used about to have the turkey. We wouldn't thing. be able to do that nowadays. Right. The turkey raffle with the lumberger oh, yeah. cheese sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My grandfather used to eat the devil out of those. <laughs> The building was filled with smoke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. awful. Oh, yeah. it's, you know, so between the smell of the Limburger cheese and yep. the smoke. It was like, <laughs> Why was there smoke? What do you mean? Everybody yeah, smoked. Oh, smoke. nice turkey smoke. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the So, Betty, did you go to school in here in Webster? Yeah, I graduated from Spry in oh, okay. 1947. So, you just take... I think take... there was about 100 of us. Oh, yeah. And we had no buses, so we had to ride the, I guess it was the RTS bus that went by. Oh, yeah. And then we'd have to go to the candy kitchen and wait for the bus at 4.30 to go back home. Oh, oh. <laughs> candy kitchen. Did you like that, the candy kitchen? Yeah, because we always went in and had something. <laughs> Good for the candy kitchen. Yeah. I don't think I ever went to the candy kitchen. Oh. It was probably gone. I don't know. Oh, it's still up. Is it? Yeah, well, it was, because I'm only a year older than you. And used to come so where's the hangout in West Webster? Was there a hangout? Well, we used to have movies every Saturday down in the basement of the little church. Uh-huh. I think it was 30 cents, and we had sure. popcorn and movies. And ice skating, and I don't know, I guess you just entertained yourself because somebody you said bicycles. The store, Maserati? No. What is it? The Remember the little variety store behind? Machetes. By the fire hall? What machetes. Was, oh, machetes. That's machetes. That. And machetes that people used to, kids used to gather there. Yeah. We used to, <laughs> my mother worked there. Oh, okay. So we had to put boots on, you know, when we left the house in the morning to go to school. <laughs> And she had a box that we could put our boots in so we didn't have to wear them to school. <laughs> my mother went to work one day and she says, are those my daughter's boots? <laughs> <laughs> so we got caught. <laughs> I was curious about the apples, the apples in the area. Pardon? What type of, you know, there's so much apple industry in this area. Were there apples like that here in Webster, the trees? Yeah, there was a few apple stores or farms. When I was young, everything was farms. Mm -hmm. You know, there wasn't built up new houses or anything. I lived on Maple Drive, and I lived at 530 Ridge Road and 579 Ridge Road. Did you, you had a car, right? Your I didn't parents? have a car. I didn't drive until I was 29. I oh. had my last baby. <laughs> and I thought it was time. I might can't hold it down anymore, right? <laughs> I remember my dad teaching her how to drive, and all three of us were in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> we were probably fighting. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> like siblings do. Did you go to the city very much? Any? 
Do you remember going to the city? Yeah. We had to catch the bus in West Webster, and then you had to make sure you got the bus back home where you were. <laughs> there overnight. Yeah. <laughs> My parents used to take us up to, what was the store that had the Christmas tunnel? Sibley's. Um, Sibley's. Sibley's. Yeah. Sibley's. Every year they would take us to Sibley's so we could go through the, mm -hmm. the, t the Christmas tunnel. And then over to the place with the, the monorail. Mm -hmm. Midtown. Midtown. Midtown, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that fire in Webster the, at the Four Corners affect your store? Yeah. Hardware store? Yeah. So it was the meat market and then your store? Yeah, yeah my family. The family. Mm -hmm. And then were there houses after that? Uh, okay. there would be yeah, there brothers. was like a garage. Wasn't there? Pardon? Todd. Wasn't the Todd brothers there? Uh, the blacksmith shop? Maybe before Grandpa's store? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I maybe. mean, they just, for my age, they had just made them into a little apartment. Oh, okay. Oh, you know who you lived there? I think, Mira, wasn't it Mira Chamberlain? Used to or, have, yeah? Mira, Mira used to own them oh, okay. for a while. Uh, I think, oh no, Bay. Was it Bay's? Yeah, Bay's was the, yeah. the Bay family used yep. to live there. That's Judy Lancy. Yeah. yeah. Then what was mm -hmm. on the corner where the is it an eye place? Yeah. It's on the on the west corner where gravel and old ridge are. <coughs> was there just a house there maybe? Did across they build the fire the building for the firehouse or across the street? No, there was a Already there. Yeah, from the fire. I don't know what, what it was. What was it? An optician was in the business. Oh. Mm -hmm. His yeah, name was George Bisnett. Oh, we, we had our eyes down there. <laughs> we had to get my glasses there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old fire, or where the Flum's eye places, mm -hmm. uh, they still have the upstairs, the same as it was. Really? The firehouse, because he wanted to know if I wanted to go up and see it. Oh. Because I belong to the West Webster Ladies Auxiliary. Mm -hmm. And we had many big doings there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you could rent it out. And so I didn't go up. He had put the drops in my eyes and I couldn't see oh. any else. <laughs> <laughs> but she said he kept it the same way. It's got the kitchen and... Really? Oh. And fired the coat and boots and oh right my at the goodness. top of the stairs. Definitely. I wonder, do the firemen know that? Oh yeah, they hit, well they had to donate. That's nice. Hmm. Is it still there? What? The Is it still there like that, you think? Yeah. Oh, interesting. They're, in fact, they're right as you win the door to the eye doctors. They got a pair of boots and the outfits. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know the West Webster Fire Department has a museum now. They've started oh, a, yeah. Yeah, yes. a museum. So. Yeah. I love the old ambulance. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to, um, on the 15th, which is Sunday, we're going to have an open house at the West Webster Fire Department Museum and an open house here. Oh. for our exhibits and then we at three o'clock we're going to have a little panel of people from West Webster talking about their sharing their memories and what was I wanted to ask tell you anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh no I wanted to go on further uh, and we're having a cemetery tour in June over at West Webster and the firemen are going to bring in their old fire truck oh yeah, they're gonna bring up <laughs> yeah. there. So I forgot. I think it was a Schreiber said he was dri he drives it. I think he he emailed me and said that he oh. would be Schreiber. No, I, I don't know any of the new ones. You know, you know. No, it wouldn't be ones. new. I don't think. Because he takes care of the old fire. My truck. father in law used to take care of the old fire. Oh old really? Fire truck, yeah. Yeah, a picture of my husband sitting on it when he was about six or seven years old. Oh, <laughs> nice. But um, yeah, so we'll have that there that day too, and oh. we'll have people 
standing by graves and telling the story of the person. Oh. Yeah, so it should be nice. June what, Sharon? 19th. Huh? 19th. Yeah, June 19th. The Sunday from 2 Go to 4. Go in and see some of our relative stones. Yes. yes. Yeah. It, we, we could use another actor. We need more actors. Yes, we do. All you do is you stand by the stone and you tell the story of the person. <laughs> We were little when they passed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, it's, a, it, it's not exactly, it doesn't have to be something you know. You do a little research on the person, or we help you do that, and then um, you tell the story. So, if you're interested, <laughs> anybody else interested in doing that? My father lived to be 100. Did he really? We had five generations. Wow. There? At the cemetery? No, no, alive. And oh, really? He was alive. Hmm. And he lived on Ridge Road, too. Yep. What brought your family to Webster? You know, I mean... Well, my step. father grew up in West Webster. Yeah, and so what brought his So parents? everybody just, you know, came home. <laughs> are, are they... Are they uh, originally from Webster, or did they come over and migrate? No, they were originally from Webster. My grandmother and grandfather, for sure, had a house at 508 Ridge Road. What was the last name? Pusher. H-U-S-C-H-E-R. And uh, my father was born there. No, but I had my parents removed there on the dining room table. <laughs> did they come from Germany or something? Yeah, no, I don't. No? They were Germans. That's uh, what that, I wanted. I didn't yeah, know that, that part back, you know. Yeah. How did, I'm sorry. How how was the last name spelled? Pardon? How Who? was the last name spelled? H u s c h e r. Thank you. Oh. Okay. I got something different out of what you were saying. H. H u s. C h e r. Oh, that sounds like German. Yeah. And uh, what did your grandfather do for a living? Did, it was he worked. Where they made the big instruments for hospitals, and I can't remember the name of it. Ritter. Ritter. Was it Castle or something like Ritter. that? Oh, okay. what? General Castles that. or Rock Castle? Castle. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Where was Castle located? Wasn't it in the city? Yeah, it was in Rochester. Yeah. So that he had to take the. How, how did he get down there? Horse and buggy? Horse and buggy to work. <laughs> oh, the trolley probably. He had, no, he had a car. Oh. oh. Or, oh. He had a rumble seat and all that stuff. Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> huh? They were just fun times, you know? Yeah. You had to make your own fun and do your own thing or you were bored. No yes. television or cell phones. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Bicycles. Yes. Bicycles got you to your friends. They got you to every place. Yeah. Yeah. Was Aramikoi Bay, did you guys use that for recreation at all? Uh, we used to have a neighbor of my mother's, of my grandmother Williams, that lived up on the Bay Hills, who used to take us out um, on his ice boat and oh. really it was fun because oh, he would God. you know make it go in circles <laughs> oh, it was really fun why? and in those days the ice was really thick <laughs> but you never went swimming down there no. No. Hey. <laughs> how about lake ontario no yeah we used to go down with the girl scouts we oh. used to go down and swim one so Every other day or something like that during camp. Where where was the camp? Um, it was on Bay Road. Um, right up the top as you go up the first hill, there was a big house there. Yeah. And it was back. You could see the bay and Isaac Drake's. I think the Drake Farm. Yeah, Drake. Maybe. Was that it? Yeah. Right. It was behind there. that. Yeah, that was Pierce. No, 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 no. We're way we're up. Over here. Oh, way up on Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, got so it. By the Drake Farm. Yeah. 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 
George. Do you know George Hall? Who? George Hall. He grew up, I, I'll tell you the story. He grew up where Wegmans is at Eastway Plaza, and he didn't, they didn't have a, they had an outhouse and a, a well, and he said, um, he's 90 some too, and he said, I remember we used to go camp out and the girl, in back of the Girl Scout camp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and we used to, what do you, raise, I think girls' panties, I don't know, on the flagpole. <laughs> and all the girls would be watching. For <laughs> anyway, that was the story he told me. I remember going to Willow Point Park. Oh, yeah. I a little there. amusement park. I worked there when I was young, about 14, my girlfriend and I. And we would walk over to Willow Point and work. They had all kinds of factory picnics and things. And uh, so we would work over there. And then we'd have to walk back home. And that was the worst. <laughs> they were so tired. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did they have a lot of people there at Willow Point? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It was a very, that was a fun place. Yeah. Very nice amusement park. It was. Yeah, it was. It was. For, very nice. for a small one, it was really nice. They kept it clean, and we don't have any pictures of it. You know, that's the the sad part. Oh, we got I got a post. We got a postcard, and that's about it, with Willow Point on it. But yeah. nobody's got old pictures from there. Mm. Yeah, so we had a lot of nice rides, and you always had to play ski ball for a while when you were. Yep. See if you could win something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, a, it was our entertainment, really, in the summer. It yeah. was. Yep. And the factory picnics, they did do a lot of factory picnics. My father worked at Bausch and Lum, and they would take over the park for a day. Oh, yeah. Yep. And everybody that worked at Bausch and Lum was allowed to bring so many kids. And my father would collect tickets from fellow workers and bring the whole neighborhood. <laughs> There'd be like 140 to 150 people eating in the big pavilion they had. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Who was your favorite teacher? Do you have a favorite teacher? I had my kinder. I remember some of my teachers' names. Kindergarten, I had Mrs. McGalpin, but that was. Kindergarten teachers are always fun. Um, <laughs> Kindergarten kids are always fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of my, t I don't remember a lot of my teachers. There were a couple I didn't care for. <laughs> yeah. Those you remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And back in my day, they could hit you with the ruler, they could pull your hair, they could pull your ears, anything to get you to get a hold of. <laughs> Yeah, my third grade teacher, he used to smack kids with the yardstick. <laughs> but he always had to have another teacher in the room when he did it. As a witness, I guess. I don't know. But you can't do that now. Well, back in the day when they had the, the boys used to go to school in the winter and the girls in the summer because... And they, and they always had a man teacher, well, not probably not always, because maybe they couldn't, but uh, for the boys, because yeah. the boys were fun to handle. I'm sure. yeah. <laughs> and the men teachers made more money than the women teachers. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of like today, even. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> a lot of jobs. Oh, I like <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> I'm new to these meetings and everything, and I come with one question, really, and I don't know if you, know, you can answer it, but why do we have the saying where life is worth living? Anybody know? Because we've been trying to find There's that. been a lot of investigation into that. And, and no answer? No, I think the Whitmer. Did we come? Did one they, of the Whitmer brothers. Okay. Coined it. Because nobody... Was, Way back, Sharon. The Whitmer brothers? Yeah, one of, one, you know, we thought like that it was King. Who? I, I have no idea. I've heard so many different 
I've heard so many stories that are always related back to the King family, or Don King, who ran the store over here on Main Street. It, it, well, his father or something. This came up with it. You mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I thought it was when they were doing one of the centennials, you know, and it was back, not the, the close yeah. that he had he had done it at that time. I, I'd never heard it related to the Whitmer family, yeah. which is distant cousins of mine. My grandmother was a Whitmer. Okay. So we still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it remains a mystery. <laughs> we were just wondering. Well, yeah. well, I know, and somebody yeah. um, said, Ron, Ron Nesbitt, I think, had said he had heard it was like from the 1920s. Really? And then... Yeah. It he, was back from... Yeah, quite quite far. And then they didn't use it, and now they do. <laughs> you know, because everyone knows. You know, yeah. as soon as you say Webster, they go where well, they just work. Right. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah. Uh, I can, in my opinion, where life was worth living back when it was a small town. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There was nobody at the at the lights. Do you remember that? You'd go through, and there'd be nobody at the lights there. Or maybe no lights, but you could go from West Webster to Webster in no time at all. That's right. It used to be a, a charge if you called. Um, I was a teacher at West Webster School, and if I called somebody in the village, it was you had to pay. There was a oh, wow. charge for that. Yeah, the 671 numbers. We're in West Webster, yeah. the 872 numbers. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> what, when I was small, the number was 109R. <laughs> and you, you picked it up and told the operator. 109. 109R was my phone number. Oh, my God. And sometimes you'd pick up the phone and you could hear your neighbors telling nice stories. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that when I moved here in the 50s, it was still yeah. eight party lines, mm -hmm. uh, county line. Yeah. I oh. never told my kids when I went, when they went for the four party, I, I went to the five, to the private instead of the two party. I never right. told my kids that we had a private line. <laughs> well, if you had a private line, your phone and Webster at the time, you had no letter. In your number, right. like my, my number was 109R. That was a party line. The barber shop, who worked by appointment at the time, uh, his number was 366. He had no letter, so he had a private, a private line. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. That's how you told who had a private line and who didn't. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Osborne one. Oh, it's Osborne. Yes. 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 Well, when uh, it was 872, it was still out in county line. It oh, yeah, well, that's after yeah, we went to dial, after we yeah. got all modern. Right, after we got all modern, yeah. Yeah, when we first got ours, I think it was 56. Right. Hey? No, oh, no, that was the A party. Yeah, I ate party. That's a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, when I grew up, we had party lines, too, you mm -hmm. know, but... Uh, I only remember Did you grow two. up in Webster? No, Schenectady. Oh, okay. Yeah. A long time ago. My husband's from this unit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the upscale yeah. part. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and can I ask one more question? Of okay. course. Um, why is there a West Webster versus Webster? Oh, here we go. I don't know. We were incorporated, I don't think. No. Yeah. Well, there's also Union Hill. Yes, we mm -hmm. Union Hill. And, and they're called Hamlets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you read in Ontario a, Center. Yeah. yeah. And, and, but Union each one Hill. had its Furnace own Hill. personality. Furnaceville. Yeah. Yes. And each one had its own um, uh, post office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. that that will go back to the 1800s when the area was settled. And that your ability to your ability to move, you know, you couldn't get as far on a horse as you could on a car as you can in a car today. So, you know, the, the hamlets became oh, the four be. corners areas became yeah business. Um, there were businesses. Became common areas yeah. that, yeah. that that, that people focused around. Right, mm -hmm. you had the where Jade Palace was mm -hmm. was Knitter's Fire and Grill. Mm -hmm. and what she was it called? The best. 
hamburgers. <laughs> she was a little old fashion lady who always wore a dress and an apron. And, uh, and, and I went to her all by herself, and she ran that. It was like a hometown bar. Was it that big, or did has it been added to? Pardon? Was it that? Was it, it was that big, but she she lived on where Jade Palace is now, and her porch and the bar was on the other side of the building. Oh, interesting. Okay. On the east side of the building. Okay. So, do we know? Was it a, a was it a, a a hotel at one time? It was before me, I guess. Heritage <laughs> House. I saw a flyer, a poster that said Heritage House. That Jade Palace was Heritage House at one time. Yeah, oh yeah. Yep. But what is how is knitter spelled? And I K I how is knitter spelled? spelled? K N I T T E R S. Oh okay. <laughs> That's a new one for me. Is that for you, Sharon? Have you heard that? No, I had not. But uh, yeah, the Heritage know. House, it was for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Friday afternoon TGIF at the Heritage House. <laughs> yes. Very, very when I first started working, we used to go to the Heritage House on Friday afternoon. Yeah, we did too. <laughs> yeah. And I, we had our wedding reception where our sites is. Oh. oh. Where sites is. Uh, Do you remember? Was? What was it called at that time? I can't remember. We we understand. It was a very popular place because they had entertainment mm -hmm. and bands. We heard it was called the Blarney Stone Inn. Yep. Yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and that was many years ago. <laughs> that little building that's on the corner across the street from the cemetery. Do you, yeah. do you know that? Yeah, it the was rug. a carpet place for a yeah. while. And right, that. but yeah. do, do you know what it was back in the day? We had a candy, little candy store there. Okay. Because we, when I was a teenager or younger, we used to walk down and <coughs> with our pennies and get penny candy. Okay. I don't know what else they had. I wasn't interested just in <laughs> penny candy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a little general store or something. Yeah, it was... More than, and then one other time you could go buy uh, cold cuts and stuff there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, they would cut them for you, and mm -hmm. now it's a hairdresser's. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's been a lot of things. It is. <laughs> yeah, I used our parking lot to turn around to go to my brother's. <laughs> <laughs> and he lives on Ridge Road too. Yep. He lives. St. Rita's driveway on Ridge Road, uh -huh. his garage is right across the road from the, it's a yellow house. It's old. Did we give him a plaque? No. No? I don't think so. Well, how old is his house? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's old. Well, <laughs> what's his? The people that wine gardeners. No, that doesn't sound for the lean house. No. I know there's a, a how um, our historic properties committee. We give plaques to a lot of historic Webster houses, and I know there's one right in front of St. Rita's. We gave, a, actually, we've given five on Old Ridge. Oh, yeah, they were doing some remodeling in the house, and he found stuff in the walls. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he, cool. He found a bottle of whiskey hidden. <laughs> <laughs> it's old. I, I forget how old it was. Yeah. And it cool. was, was never opened. Oh, um, wow. But when they took, Just some, in case. <laughs> yeah, they took some wood down, they found it hidden behind that. They found secret little storage boxes in the floorboards. Oh, yeah. They oh. took up a floorboard and there's little yeah. metal boxes in there. Prohibition. <laughs> could be. How cool is that? It could be. It was, it's a a nice old house. What number is that? Beautiful big yard. 479. In that room over there, we have all the homes that we have given plaques to in the, on the wall. So if, if it's in there, then we gave it. I don't think they ever did. I, you don't I think so? You would have heard about <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a, a nice variety of architecture. Along Old Ridge, mm -hmm. you know. yeah, and and you know you've got like uh, there's one that we think might have been a kit house, one or two, 
but we can't. We have no way to. You know what a kit house is? No. It came in a kit house. No. So. It came and would come in on the train. Oh. In pieces, all, all numbered. In pieces, oh. and then you get get it and you build oh. it. Oh. Yeah, there's a few around town. We've got quite a few. Huh. Uh, people, Sears catalog had them. <laughs> Was it Montgomery and the other one? Yeah, they had them, and there were other um, companies that made them. So they they would make the house, number all the parts, take them apart, put them on the train, and particularly towns that had train tracks that went through, that you would find the kit the houses. The people that lived behind my, they had a long a lane that went back, and there was apartments back there, and then there was a horse farm. And on days you could see the horses from the uh -huh. road. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they sold. <laughs> nice. The house to the left of the church, it's a white house, maybe a split, I'm not too Methodist sure. Church? To mm -hmm. the left of the Methodist church. Uh, the homeowners called because they had stuff coming up out of the ground. Interesting old things. Oh. Oh. And so it, we decided it's wet down, if you go down the hill behind the houses there, it's kind of wet. Anyway. They had interesting things. <laughs> it's Bridge Road. If you go on either side of the road, the backyards slope way down. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. So that's how the water, yeah, the the water came right up to the edge of that Ridge Road. Yeah. That's what my dad told us, that the, the lake used to be a lot farther in. Yeah. We lived on Meadow Lane, and it was nothing but sand. Really? <laughs> Geology, you talk to geologists, and they'll tell you that Ridge Road was a sandbar. Yeah. So um, at the corner of Old Ridge and Bay, and then Glen Edith, the, the road goes down, uh, it, it's my understanding that uh, some Indian burials were found there. Well, you know any, uh, anybody know anything about that? There's a lot of Indian burials along around Aquite Bay. A lot in down in the southern part of, of the bay in Luchin Morin Park, which is Penfield, but uh -huh. they have some there. In the early 1800s at Glen Edith, there was there was a ferry that operated that would take you across the bay, and uh -huh. then you'd come up on the other side where the Newport House is, and basically you'd continue along the way. Okay. Uh, in uh, on Ridge Road, mm -hmm. but that. That ferry, I think that ferry was gone by the 1850s. Oh, okay. I think the rail line got put in and mm -hmm. that pretty much took over from that. But mm -hmm. um, there's the, the men, I forget their names, but the men who operated the ferry, there's, there's legislation in New York State, New York State legislation that gave them the permit or whatever it was called to actually operate the ferry on Aronicoit Bay in the early 1800s. Cool. Was the name Drake? I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up. Okay, there, there was a huge farm uh, in that area, okay. lots of property owned by the Drake family. Yeah, the Drake yeah, it was, yeah, opened uh, the Glen Edith. Uh -huh. They ran an inn down there, and then afterwards Glen Edith took it, bought it. But, um, yeah, they, and Isaac Drake is one of our early pioneers. Yes, they were. Yeah. Did you know him? I knew the daughter. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I she was the one who got us into the camping down there oh, yeah. with the Girl Scouts. Huh. Do you know if there was an old house on that corner and it's not there anymore? <coughs> on, the, on that corner of Glen Edith Drive and Bay Road? Anybody? I don't remember that. Anyway. Okay. There's a long ranch house there now. Glen Edith Drive it's was entrance to it was moved on yeah, Ridge Road. Yes, yeah, I heard that. It was, it wasn't lined up originally when I was a kid. It wasn't lined up with Ridge Road. It, it, it yeah. was offset, and they moved oh, it. Oh, yeah, that's a new. Tr that was a newer track, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it yes. was farther to the yeah. south, the entrance, a mm -hmm. little bit to the south than where it is now. Yeah. Right. 
Well, we had heard that when they um, excavated, uh, uh, they were fixing the road, that that's when they found the Native American bones oh. in that area. And th they're all now at, at the Rochester Museum and Science Center. The Wierowskis, and when they dug up right along Bay, uh -huh. and they were d digging up for the garage, they found a, a skeleton, and they did call the Rochester Museum and Science Center, and it had to come out. And they took it, and Lou said, to this day, her heart wonders if <laughs> she, they should have done that. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, I understand that. Yeah, she yeah. said because, you know, they talk about moving the Native American bones and so on. She wonders, maybe we should have done it. it. Maybe we should have left it. Yeah. Did they find it right alongside the road there or where they, no, right? where the garage is? Yeah, we, you know where she lives? Yeah. 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 So it's where they built the garage. They started, yeah, huh. building the garage. and she, she found She's an artist. And Lou, uh, and she painted a picture of the, this. With the bones. <laughs> Whereabouts is that? Where it's right at you know where the garage is on uh, Bay Road and at that Old corner. Ridge. Uh, and Old Ridge. Yeah. Okay. N not the new looking one, but the old one up. Mm -hmm. on, and then if you look behind, it goes down in. There are places back down in there. Mm -hmm. It's a greenhouse. Morowski's. Yeah, Morowski's. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. So, it, and I think, like you said, there's all along around Coit Bay, there are, because oh, really? yeah. Yeah, many of the artifacts over here, uh, the Native American stuff, came out of the Isaac, uh, from the Drake Farm. And uh, what happened was, the people were moving, and the lady next door said, oh, you have this garbage pail filled with those artifacts. Do you mind if I take it? And they said, no, you can have it. So then she brought it into the museum, <laughs> which is nice. And uh, so, yeah, the, in, the Native Americans were around all the time for hunting and, and fishing and stuff like that. And they had small camps, but no long-term stays. Right. Here. Webster was, from what I've read, Webster was too close <laughs> to the lake and to the bay. Yeah. So this area would get raided by other Indian tribes into here, so that's why the oh. Indians stayed further south around Victor and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, Come Honey Eye, the but they would... What? Sorry. This, uh, we have the... A oh, our meeting, yes, we do. Oh, yeah. We have, we have a museum meeting, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're having history in a cup, if you like to sit down. Oh, no, yes, please sit down yes. and learn yeah. some history. Yeah, I know, right? Damn, I don't you can go. Oh, no. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> One of uh, a, a person was um, digging a post hole for his father for a mailbox down on Chestnut Bend. Do you know where it's behind the Lutheran Church on Bay Road? Okay. And he was digging a post hole <laughs> and found arrow points, burned rocks, and tools. And it was about four feet down. So he continued. <laughs> the mystery. <laughs> he made his his whole yard into a archaeological dig, oh, wow. and kept finding all these little pieces. And it was really interesting. We had a display here of all the things that he found, and we we had a program with him talking about it too. And he had taken m many of the items to the Rochester Museum and Science Center to show them, and get them documented what they were. Um, yeah, it went back quite a ways, didn't it? Yes. Was it all stone or was there metal too? It was all stone. All, all stone. stone. Yeah, it was and the, I don't believe he found any metal. But he had ceramic, mm -hmm. I think, a piece mm -hmm. of ceramic. But, but he found mostly tools. His name mm -hmm. is Ed Harding. If you, He's got wonderful stories if you ever want to get in touch with him. <laughs> Used to take us back there and show us. One 
Some of the people are coming in because we have a board meeting at. Oh. <laughs> yeah. One o'clock. Yeah, following this, so. But that's all right. So how many, um, did you always go to the events that the fire department was having in West Webster? Really? Yeah, and they let us go to the fires and the plane crashes. And <laughs> they let you go? You mean you oh, all yeah, went? We, we took coffee and candy bars <laughs> and oh, nice. water oh. and Gatorade. And uh, they let us take one of their vehicles. Mm -hmm. And we'd go to the scene and serve and then... Oh, nice. And sometimes if there was a big fire and other departments came, we cooked and served either lunch or dinner. Uh -huh. And the one time the Bay Hills were on fire, we, we called every hot dog place in the vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> and they all donated hamburgers and hots and french fries. Oh, nice. And we had like, one went to Charlie's, I drove to Bill Gray's opened the back of the car and they just shoved the stuff in there. Wow. So and then you cooked it. Pardon? No, they cooked, they cooked all the hamburgers Oh, they cooked stuff. everything? Yeah, they had it all in the pre. Oh, nice. So that was nice. Yeah. What was the fire? The, there was a couple of uh, cottages that burned. It was all along the Bay Hills. And I think there was five fire departments fighting wow. the fires. And some of them were out in boats fighting the fires. Mm -hmm. Then the plane, cr plane crash, he took off from Empire Boulevard by the restaurant there. And <laughs> his plane crashed right over the buildings that, are, that were there. And the pilot and the fisherman that was with him died. Uh, mm -hmm. huh. And what, when was that? What years? Do you remember? No. Yeah. Do you know when the fire was? Along the bay, no. yeah. No. No. <laughs> I was probably in my 40s, so it was probably 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. 50 years ago. <laughs> 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 I forget how old I am. <laughs> I know, that's good. I do too. I don't know where that 92 years went, but it went. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming You're in. Welcome. Spending the time with us. I just have a little something to give you. If I can get up. I want to make sure we say thank you. <laughs> To both of you. That was really a pleasure. And yeah, come again on Sunday when we have more people hopefully coming in and uh, sharing their memories. I have a little bouquet of flowers for each of you and then a, a cup oh, from the Webster Museum. That's the name of the cup. Sue? Well, that's all right. You can trade it. We're going to fight over it. <laughs> no. Fight over the card. Thank you. Yeah. So, I got these, but I want to put some paper towel around the bottom so you won't get all wet. Yeah. Are they from your yard? Yeah. Oh, wow. I know. Jan lives in a wonderful old house on Phillips Road that at one time was a nursery. So she has all of these beautiful flowers and trees and yeah. Smile. Oh yes, we have our annual barn sale there. I think I've been there. Because you're to the September. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So come and buy stuff to support the museum. <laughs> Yeah, you can donate stuff too, guys. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then come back and buy some more. Oh, sure.
Well, it's, so, it's you just <laughs> but, yeah. so many but, years uh, things I mean, I mean, in another color. Was I going to get the color?